So a cat's whiskers are for decoration, right? Wrong. Check me out. You are now rocking with the cool cats and me, the D.E.V. The weather is breaking out here in the DMV. I'm out here in the 301, knocking a little rust off of my golf game, ready to get back in the groove. So today we want to talk about a subject that a lot of cat owners don't really understand. And that's how cats actually use their whiskers. What do they actually do? They're not just decoration, you know. The whiskers allow cats to have greater control over the environment. They are longer and more sensitive than the rest of the cat's hairs and found in a deeper area of the skin, surrounded by nerves and blood vessels, which transfer information to the brain. <laughs> Gotta stay on top of that short game, right? Cats generally have between 16 to 24 whiskers but that varies between species. Batman and Robin, for example, are of the Devon Rex breed and they have far fewer. Batman has a lot fewer than Robin. Okay, so let's look at these whiskers. Here we got Robin. Robin, come on. So see, the Devon Rex, they don't have all the whiskers like regular cats but we call robin baby gramps come on robin behave now we call robin baby gramps because his whiskers is kind of curled up like an old person coupled with his demeanor He's baby Gramps, but as you can see, he doesn't have a whole lot of whiskers and they're short and small, um, but he does have whiskers above the eyes. You know, y'all know by now, Robin don't like to do nothing. <laughs> Robin. They can't see whiskers on the back of your head. Hmm? Come on now. Anyway, hopefully y'all got to see some of Robin's whiskers. So where are the whiskers? Well, they are around the nose, above the eyes, on the chin, and behind the front legs. See, y'all thought they were just around the nose, didn't y'all? Tell the truth.
Now here we have Batman. Batman. And you see, he has, he's a Devil Rex too, so he doesn't have a whole lot of whiskers. But as you can see, his are not as many as Robin. I hope y'all can see that. But this is the, the Don Dada, Young Breezy. He's cool and slick with his, but he does have whiskers. I don't know what's up with them today. Do y'all think y'all have whiskers on the back of your head or something? But that's Young Breezy and his whiskers. So what do whiskers do? Basically, they act as sense receptors. So, we know that cats have incredible vision, but they do have problems focusing on objects up close. So, whiskers help with that. They also help with danger. The extreme sensitivity of their whiskers helps detect if something is approaching. Along with the tail, the whiskers are an aid in helping them maintain balance. And we know how good that balance is, right? Hey, listen, don't ever cut a cat's whiskers. As we can see, they have a major effect in their lives. If their whiskers were to be cut, it would have uh, a grave effect on their welfare so don't cut their whiskers don't don't do that all right now we got the bro man and see he's a, a cat that has normal whiskers if you can see him he has a beautiful set of whiskers Come on, bro, man. These cats think they got whiskers on the back of their head or something. Okay, so we can see bro, man, has a beautiful set of whiskers. If he, I don't know why they shy in front of the camera today, but brother, man, is a, is a, uh, not a Devon Rex breed. We, had that conversation about him being a Bombay or a standard uh, short hair. But he has some long flowing, beautiful whiskers. I don't know if y'all can see them because it's black on black. Maybe if he turns to the side. But yeah, so he, he has lovely whiskers on the top of his head, over above his eyes. Yeah, that's a good angle. Y'all can see him. So, bro, man, he said, I don't have all my sandwiches in my lunch box, but I got some beautiful whiskers. There you go. Y'all know how we do. Treat those animals well. After all, they didn't ask to be there with you, but now all they have is you. Treat them like family. Fam.